Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Andrew, the CEO of QuantData, and today we'll be going over Quant Alerts. So in today's video, we'll go over what Quant Alerts are, we'll go over the different types of alerts, and we'll also go over some tips and tricks on how to use the alerts as well as different things to consider. So let's go ahead and switch over to the Quant Data platform and, and get started. So once you log into Quant Data, this is what you'll see. This is the main dashboard of the Quant Data platform. In the bottom left hand corner, you'll see the Quant Alerts table, and this is where the alerts will populate throughout the day. In the top left hand corner of that table, you'll see the voice alerts toggle. So if you want these alerts to be read out to you as soon as they come in, you can click the toggle and it'll read out to you as soon as they come in throughout the day. And in this table, you'll see the different alert types as they come in. And basically, just to break down what an alert consists of, it consists of the ticker, the strike, whether it's a call or put, the expiration date, and then the alert name. And then you also have the time it was alerted as well as the date it was alerted at. So now that you know where these alerts are and sort of what to look for, uh, we'll go ahead and move over to an article that I wrote and we'll break down the different alert types as well as a few tips and tricks on, on using the alert system. So this is an article I wrote about understanding the quant alerts and it goes through the different alert types and um, sort of what they consist of. But uh, you can access this article through the help section on the Quant Data website and I'll also include a link in the description of the video so you can reference this this article at any point. But basically, you know, the Quant Alert system is a proprietary system. It's an algorithmic system that looks at millions of different data points and using those different data points, we send different alert types based on different criteria that, it, that we set. So the first alert type that we have is a whale alert. And this alert type searches thousands of orders per second to find the best opening traits that meet our minimum notional value requirement. So, you know, these alerts don't ensure that a move is going to happen in the market, but it's showing that a potential move could happen in that name. And the one of the most important things to consider when you're looking at these alerts is the expiration date, right? Because if you're trying to day trade a far dated expiration, you're probably not going to get the return you're looking for on that trade. So you want to make sure when these alerts come in, you're first looking at the expiration date to make sure that that trade or that alert lines up with what you're looking for. And that goes for all the alert types, not just the whale alert. You want to make sure the expiration date is in line with what you're looking to trade. The lightning alerts are sent based on a series of proprietary requirements that look at a short window in the order flow. And based on that short window, um, it's looking for actionable opportunities. So these alerts will also send based on when those actionable opportunities are found. And these are typically great for scalps and day trading, given the short window that we're looking at for those actionable opportunities. Third, we have the turbo alert. Similar to the lightning alerts, we're looking at a series of proprietary requirements on every optionable ticker over a window. And this window is also short, which is what makes it similar to those lightning alerts. But the way that turbo alerts differ from the lightning alerts is that they have an increased period of time. So that, that window that we're looking at is a larger window. So it's giving it more time for that, for that asset or that name to have you know, a, a reaction to that actionable opportunity that we found or that we detected, right? So these are also great for scalps and day trades similar to the lightning alerts. And you know, one thing to really take into consideration when you're, when you're trying to use these alerts for idea generation and you're looking for trades is when you have multiple alert types on one ticker, that's an indication that that opportunity is more likely to happen, right? Because the more confluence we have on one name, you know, if we have three different alert types on one ticker, it's most likely because that order flow for that ticker is extremely actionable in, in that time period. So you wanna make sure everything, you know, lines up with your strategy. You wanna make sure the spreads are great. You wanna make sure the expiration date is what you're looking for. And then, you know, if everything lines up with your strategy, you perform your technical analysis and it lines up, 
go ahead and give that give that alert a shot and, and see how it works out for you. But uh, moving forward, we have the bargain alert. This alert type is looking for cheap, short dated, unusual contracts on every optional ticker. And it's also looking at a short window to find these actionable opportunities. Now these alerts are good because the, the cost of the alerts will always be low. So if you're a, you know, a trader trading with a smaller portfolio, you'll most likely want to look for these alerts because the options price on these alerts will be a lot smaller and the volume in that name or that ticker can be very strong when, when you see one of these alerts come through. So although that price is very low, this still might be a great trade um, based on you know the current market market conditions or wh whatever is happening in, in that asset. And uh, you know these these are also these can be great for scalps, day trades, or swings. It's just it's essential to use that expiration date and the current market conditions as a gauge in in, in determining how long you're going to hold that that alert. So moving forward to the momentum alert. This alert type looks at a series of proprietary requirements on every optional ticker as well, except instead of looking at a short term window, we're looking at a mid term window to find the actionable opportunities. So instead of looking at that super small period of time where we're looking for that extremely repetitive flow, now we're looking at a longer time frame and we're looking at several different factors that are contributing to this actionable opportunity that, that, that we're being shown. So these alerts are typically better for day trades versus scalps because these are alerts that took time to develop based on based on what's happening in, the, in that name. Again, depending on the market conditions and the expiration date, you want to you want to take all those factors into consideration and make a decision about what works best for you. And then uh, lastly, we have the ditto alert. So this alert type looks at trades that repetitively meet a series of proprietary requirements, hence the name ditto, because it's repetitively meeting these different requirements that we have set. And this is also over a predetermined short window that we have set. So these alerts will typically perform well in the short term and are great for scalp and day traders, but they can also provide opportunities for swing traders. And the most important thing, again, and I'll mention again, is looking for that confluence between different alert types and lining it up with your technical analysis and your strategy. But we'll go ahead and go over some things to consider. So these, this is a new alert system and the alert types are constantly being improved. And these alerts can be highly actionable, but they are not perfect. So you wanna make sure you're using your strategy, using your technical analysis, and, and, and applying them to, to, to what you're finding here. Always consider the current market conditions at the time of the alert, right? You don't want to go long on a, on a name that has extremely bad news, right? Because that might not be the best, the, the best thing for you to do at that current time. So you wanna make sure you're, you're aware of what's happening around you and, and make sure that you're going into that ticker with, with, with confidence. And again, uh, an another thing to consider is always conduct your fundamental and technical analysis. Don't go into that trade just based off the alert. You wanna make sure everything is lined up. You wanna make sure what you're looking at is, is correct. The, the, the fourth thing to consider there is, we already spoke about it, is that confluence. You wanna make sure you have your, your charts lining up with the alert, lining up with the news, lining up with the order flow, lining up with the dark pool levels and data, right? You don't wanna just go into a trade based off of, off, off of one component. You wanna make sure everything's lining up. And then lastly, make sure you're paying attention to the volume and order flow at the time of the alert and just sort of know what's going on around you. If you haven't signed up to Quant Data, visit our website, quantdata.us, and you can sign up to a free seven day trial. Um, there's no reason for you to not try it for seven days. I mean, you could cancel at any time and you know let us know what you think of the platform. But uh, yeah, so we'll be releasing some more videos on the different alert types and, and different examples of people trading the alert types and sort of how it worked for them. But uh, thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel and, and look for new videos that we post.